everyone welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new my name is Jordan I cannot believe I'm even saying this but in exactly one week from today I will be headed back on board for my third contract if you are new here or you missed some of my previous videos I did just recently sign off Adventure of the Seas on January 26th and I am headed to Voyager for my third contract and I leave on February 25th just one day short of an entire month at home and the time has honestly flown by and I am kind of all out of sorts trying to organize myself and get everything ready for my departure. I am so excited about this upcoming contract and I have a really good feeling about it. However, I would be lying if I said I didn't have a bunch of different emotions these last few days. I don't really show my relationship much on my channel, just like to kind of keep that more to myself and more private, but I have mentioned that we were planning to head to our next contract together and a few days ago we found out that he did not get the same ship as me. I feel sick honestly I feel sick that has been really tough and it's been really heavy on me the last few days so we've already been doing four months of long distance over 4,000 miles apart and now we have to wait another eight months to see each other unless he can get approval for a transfer that situation really 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 sucks but I am still really excited about doing a new show getting to see half of my cast again and meeting the other half of the new cast. The itinerary is going to be absolutely amazing, so I have to really try and focus on the positives. Since I do have seven days, I am really just getting the last minute thing sorted out, but I honestly am not that organized right now. I have been a scatterbrain. One thing that does really help me stay organized when I am planning and packing is lists. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good list. So on the left is my packing list, all the things that I want to make sure that I put in my suitcase. And on the right, I have a list of things I need to do before I leave and also things I need to buy. So some of the stuff I have checked off, but honestly, most of it I have not even gotten to yet. The biggest thing being I need to shop for all my toiletries. And then there's some other minor things that will get taken care of in the coming days. Our spare bedroom, aka my packing room, looks a little chaotic, not gonna lie. This pile of stuff was things that I pulled that I won't be bringing because I just don't need them with me. This is all of the things I still need to pack, organize, kind of sort through. My two carry-on bags are just chilling here until I fill them. And as far as packing is concerned, I'm doing pretty well. This one has a lot of space, but this one is the suitcase I always put all of my toiletries in. And this suitcase is completely full, actually. I totally filled it up. There is still a bit of space for more items should I need the room, but to be honest, this one is looking pretty good. Let's, let's give it a look. Nice and organized, of course, always rolling my clothes. And then these are some other things I'm going to pack as well. And shoes I'm trying to sort out. So yes, there's kind of piles everywhere, but they make sense to me. We're gonna get there. I just need to mention my find of the week. I was in Target and I was looking at those like end racks where they have all the clearance and they had shampoo and conditioner. And this is like, this is a big boy. It didn't have a price on it. So I was like, let's scan it and see, $3. So I got a huge thing of conditioner for $3 and also shampoo in the same size. And I also found these really useful little felt baskets. These are gonna go in my closet. And then my other little organization find was this bad boy from the dollar section. This I'm gonna use for like makeup or my markers, we'll see. This is the winter coat I'm planning on bringing with me to my contract since it's still gonna be the middle of winter and I won't be in the Caribbean. Um, but this is brand new, I got it from Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with it. This is the Polly Puffer Coat. I'll have it linked, but it's so lightweight, so cute, and actually so warm. 
Now I'm on RCL Crew Travel. This is just another website that we use for upcoming contracts and things like that. This is also how we get our travel details for when we sign on or sign off. And I have my letter of employment here as well as my insurance letter. So I'm going to obviously download these and print them out. These are all the documents I had to upload, but of course I got this contract back in November and I had to upload them ASAP. So this is pretty standard for every contract. I uploaded them and then they've been approved. So now I need to print everything out just so I have a physical copy of it to bring with me. I am in the office. Go Bills. And I put all the files on this. So I just need to plug this in. The famous blue folder is back. I have reorganized all of my paperwork that I will be bringing with me. Everything is printed and ready to go. Today is an errands day. I have to buy all of my toiletries for the contract. I have shampoo and conditioner already set, but pretty much everything else I need to stock up on. So we are going on a little mission today. And I also want to get my ears pierced today because my hole is completely split on my left ear and I really miss wearing earrings. So that is a, that is a plan. Here we are, the glamorous first stop. Target was successful. I got everything I needed except for setting spray. They did not have the one that I always get in stock. And somehow I managed to spend $191. All things you need though. I need every, yeah, I actually did not get carried away. I just got everything that I needed. The only thing I treated myself to that was different was multivitamins, gummy multivitamins and a $3 fake succulent for the cabin. So I think I did pretty, pretty good. We'll do a haul when we get home. But first breakfast at, where are we going? Altons? Altons. Let me just tell you, I spent quite a lot of money today, but with good reason. I actually had such an eventful shopping day. I'm gonna give you a haul of everything, but I did also get my ears pierced and I'm super happy with how they turned out. So I've mentioned it quite a few times before, but I have my ears pierced, the one hole ripped through, but it wasn't painful because it was just like over time. I have not been able to wear earrings for years now and the holes just never closed up. So I was gonna just get one ear pierced so that I could wear a set of earrings, but I decided if I'm gonna, if I'm already gonna be there, I might as well get both holes. So now I'm gonna have two holes on my right ear and one on my left and I bought some nice little studs. So yeah, I am very pleased with that. That was definitely more pricey than I thought it would be, but I've been wanting that for a really long time, so I'm super happy that I got that done. I have laid everything out to show you. I got so lucky at DSW. We stopped in there when we were leaving the mall, and I found a pair of white sneakers for uniform and also for obviously working out. 
in my size on clearance for $30 and they fit me perfectly so I'm super excited about those. Like I said, I got one of these Alani News just to try it out so we're gonna give it a go. Also with my ear piercing, it was 20% discount on anything in the store so I decided to get these little hoops. They're like a half circle. I picked up two new memory cards because Coco actually destroyed one last night. So whatever footage is on that is long gone, but I did need to get a new one anyways. So I got a 64 gigabyte and also a 128 gigabyte. Then I found this beautiful coral color crop top from Lulu. Obviously I had to take a trip to Lulu. This is the Power Pivot Tank and I got it on clearance for $39, but I also am part of the Sweat Collective, so I got that for like $30, which I thought was a really great deal. And the back is super cute as well. I picked up two boxes of false eyelashes. These are a must have for the show and I went through all of my other ones, so now I got a fresh batch. Some mascara, I got eyeliner, three different shades of concealer. Two of my favorite e.l.f. foundations, some putty primer because I'm running low. I got eyelash glue, Dove soap, little elastic scrunchies for when I'm doing braids and stuff like that. Toothpaste. This was my impulse buy. It was like $3 in the little dollar section. Thought that was like cute little decor. I got this pack of four makeup sponges, pack of razors, deodorant, face lotion, hairspray, dry shampoo, shaving cream, a huge thing of micellar water, and multivitamins. So that is everything that I picked up today, and I am pleased. Now, I, now I'm all set for toiletries for the contract. T minus five days until I leave, holy shit. It is approaching so fast, I just got an email from the HR team on board that I have to submit my meal preferences for my quarantine in the hotel. So I need to do that now. all finished packing which is insane it's getting super super real and I am feeling pretty good about it I do have a packing vlog if you want to see the whole process I'll have it linked below but yeah Here are my skates. I just received my little skate tape in the mail, finally. So I'm going to cover my skates with this and I really hope that this is enough tape to cover both skates because they have to be tan. And I also decided on tape just because I thought it would be easier than painting them. And I also have a concoction over here. I'm currently dyeing my skate laces with coffee. 
So I just did hot water and instant coffee and they have been soaking for the last few hours. So I feel like they are good to go. I just have to obviously rinse and clean them. Okay, so I just, I just, I knew that you're gonna worry for me because I don't have to do this. three days until I head to Voyager. It is so surreal. I cannot believe that I leave in three days. It's flying by and I'm for the most part prepared. I just feel like it's approaching so soon and I want to make sure that everything is sorted out. I do have to get a PCR test for my flight since I am flying internationally. So Cyprus requires a PCR test to get into the country and I have to get it 72 hours before my flight. So I'm actually headed there now. My flight is at like 1 o'clock on Friday and today is Tuesday. So um, I'm going to get that test done and should be good to go. The place that I got my test at for my last contract is actually closed. It no longer exists because I was just going to go there again. But yeah, it's closed. So I'm just headed to Walgreens and I'm also going to pick up some prints that I ordered. So I'm going to pick those up and I'm going to get tested. Hopefully all goes well. I've already had COVID like a month ago, so the chances of me being positive again don't look so likely. I'm really hoping it comes back negative because then I'm going to freak out. I don't know what I'm going to do if it comes back positive, but I do have my recovery letter, so that is keeping me sane a little bit. Apparently it's like a self test, I guess. Um, so I'm just waiting in line. I'm feeling nervous. I don't know why. I just want this to come back negative so badly so that I can go to this contract. I will say though, I don't feel as stressed as I did the last time I got tested for adventure. So we're off to a good start, but um, yeah, I'm feeling very stressed. Hi, um, I'm here for my COVID test. PCR, yep. Okay, so it'll just break here and then yep. twist it back on. Okay. And then put it in here or? Um, yeah, send your email. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. And now we wait. Let the anxiety kick in. Picked up the photos, they turned out pretty good. There was a few that printed kind of dark, but for the most part, they turned out nice. So in total, I probably printed about 30, but these are just a few that I laid out. I am two days out of heading to Voyager. I'm only slightly freaking out because I'm impatiently waiting for my oh my god hiccups sorry um, my covid results so i got my pcr test yesterday obviously i know pcr tests take up to 48 to 72 hours but i want it now it hasn't even been 24 hours yet so i need to take a major chill pill but um hopefully that comes in today so i can rest easy and not worry so much but I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing the process of preparing to leave. Of course, I'm going to be filming a bunch. <gasps> oh my god. I'm going to be filming a bunch once I am headed to my contract, quarantine process, rehearsal process, and everything in between. So make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Send a little prayer for me that my test comes back all right and I am good to travel. But I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.